God also has a father, the masculine and the feminine. And why have you not recognized the feminine? For she's the Holy Ghost. child of a mother and a father and it takes the female and the male to run a battery cataparesis and anaparesis imagine that so there's the father and son and there's the holy ghost and who do you think that is i told you but consider it consider the idea of an energy and a love so magnificent that it embodies both the masculine and the feminine. And it emanates to you with combined forces of divine love. And so in self-healing and self-growth, I'm learning to develop my inner male while also balancing my inner female so that I don't overly give to the wrong people and I also take action and activity so I was uh, bit by a dog and now I have healed it and in the process of that I have looked at the spiritual meaning behind it and it can mean that I am not yet fully versed to establishing healthy boundaries. I didn't have a healthy dog um, boundary with a territorial non-socialized dog. And just moving very, very slowly after being with them all day, handing them treats when they uh, came or sat, it was um, still a dog that hadn't been socialized. And Broken men are a lot like that. They don't have the ability to, to socialize. Some are aggressive because they're afraid, just like a dog. And some of them actually could care less. They've been beaten so hard by life. They just look off to the side 
and they never really listen to you because they've learned how to shut out the cold, cruel world. So in my life, I choose happiness and the wake up call I had with the incident with the dog and then healing it so successfully myself. It happened July 29th at 8.30 p.m. And right now at the time of this, uh, we're talking September the 8th or 9th. It's a Saturday um, and of 2024. So anyway, it took me four full weeks to suture it. And I became very introverted and looked within. And I decided I would uh, reach out to a man who I'd met through friends. And I realized that upon getting to know him, I realized what my healthy boundaries are. And it is, you can't be an alcoholic. And so, and rather than calling him that, what I said to him after we had a, a good time getting to know each other very casually, um, always drinks were involved. And I couldn't get him involved with activities because he wasn't interested. So it was like lack of compatibility. I could have said that, but because I had made the mistake of getting uh, totally honest with him during a very lengthy phone conversation in which in Venus Asperitas, and I admittedly drank more than my share and was very loose lipped and told him all kinds of things. And it was just to clear the air. I wanted the tension to go. I do not like it when a, I thought, well, if he knows I'm going to be a, a wonderful, sensuous partner intimately, then he can relax and we can get to know each other. But that was a mistake on my part. And yeah, it wasn't because of what he told me about himself. And I wasn't trying to manipulate him or get into information, but it may seem that way if you look at it. That's only because I'm always ready to admit guilt. But no, that's not true at all. I won't take responsibility for things that aren't my responsibility. That's another thing I'm reprogramming myself about because I used to take responsibility for things that I had absolutely no responsibility for. It's called being the scapegoat. So I'm not gonna be the scapegoat but I told him that his drinking triggered me because my ex was an angry drunk and spent more time at the bar than with me. And so I um, actually get a physical um, adrenal rush. Like the cortisol is released when I see how much somebody's drinking, even though he's a gentle drunk. So I, at that time, learning about the dog and what the symbolism of it, the symbolism and the spiritual guidance that I can learn from my world, from what's actually happening in it, which is a good idea for everybody to do. Start looking at your physical world with bigger eyes, um, including this one. And just because somebody talks chakras and third eye doesn't mean they're spiritual, okay? So don't, don't, don't be fooled, guys. Don't be fooled, girls. Just because somebody can talk the talk, are they walking the walk? So pay ne less attention to what they say and more to what they do. That's another lesson that I learned. So um, I pay was paying attention and I said to him that I could not be with him because I'm not comfortable with the amount of his drinking. And it triggers me. And he says, so you're telling me I drink too much? And I said, um, you drink too much for me. I'm not saying that you drink too much for you. You're perfectly happy with your lifestyle. And he said, yeah. I go, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not making you wrong. Let's get that clear. I'm saying you drink too much for me. And I explained the aforementioned cortisol. I didn't exactly go into it at length, but to you, I'm telling you, uh, I told him I was triggered, but the actual I didn't, I didn't want to go into it at length because that's when you're having a conversation with somebody, you keep it very simple on the phone and it's not necessary to go at great length.
but to you I am because this, I'm learning as I go and I'm teaching as I go so that somebody who finds themselves in the situation I did X amount of years ago can expedite their healing, also expedite their, their recognition of what they're dealing with, all right? So that's why I make these videos. It's my personal gift to the world because I feel so fortunate and I am not perfect. I have negative feelings and sometimes I don't act in a way that I think is lofty, but however, I am closer and closer to the truth of my being, which is um, what you're seeing before you. Um, so anyway, I let him know that I really couldn't be around that. And I didn't tell him what I told you, that you actually get that cortisol. And when you're with a, nar a narcissist living with them, you get cortisol on the daily and it breaks down your health. So there were a lot of other uh, red flags, but I'm, I'm now gonna focus on the green ones. And I now realize that I created firm boundaries. I spoke honestly and without taking responsibility for it or making either one of us wrong or bad or incompatible, whatever. Um, it comes down to priorities and choices. What are your priorities and choices? But also for me, I realized that I got the affirmation of I've done a lot of hard work on myself and I can now say I'm grateful for this lesson that did not lessen me to truly understand and realize the magnitude of that relationship and I got away and I had help from people as well as the universe. And yes, I'm grateful for the earth who is evolving too, apparently. And that's why we rely upon the father. He's the protector and the guider. And she is a little foolish. So we have young parents, remember. And young parents aren't as good as the older ones. Right now I'd be an excellent mother. So I look at, perhaps in sci-fi world, we have multiple, multiple universes and we have multiple people as above, so below. So we have young parents, meaning the earth, and our true father, the one that's not in the books at all, but the energetic form of this beautiful uh, man, um, masculine energy more specifically and that the son who's our brother was here to show us what we can be and what we were once and we can become again but it begins with recognizing that you deserve the love that you can give to yourself first and foremost but allow yourself to receive it from the mother and from the father I'm gonna Leave it at that. Oh goodness. Leave it at that. Oh, how much of this didn't how much of this didn't you see? Well anyway, these are some really good yoga postures. And these are. Uh, I recommend women to do this in the comfort of their own home, away from the leering eyes of predatorial men. And I'm not saying they all are. I'm just saying I've had my fill. 